<clears throat> so I got this Amazon $20, $27 delay kit in the mail. I hope it's a I hope it's a good sounding one because I had a a $25 delay that was already built and it did not sound good. This is packed very well. That's the first thing the first thing I noticed. This is packed in here very well. So I think they they have it down they have it down as far as packing it. It looks looks very good. This is a very heavy bag. Looks like everything's organized very well in here. That's Nick. He's tired. All right, I see, I see a lot of parts here. <laughs> this is quite a kit. All right. <clears throat> Lego expert set. On a single musical instrument. It's called the Moog Synthesizer. It produces sounds in a matter of minutes, which would normally take radiophonic experts with their complicated equipment days of work and multiple re recording to achieve. This is going to be uh, this is going to be new to me working on stuff this small. I'm going to have to take my time and do a nice job. The electrical jack, side jacks. Nice knobs. Nice cream, cream colored knobs. Looks like a nice heavy switch. Wow. Looks like a very heavy switch. Rubber feet and screws. Nice organization. Resistors, blue resistors. Um, some kind of decal or something here. Thank you, my dear friends. Do it yourself, your music. World together with us. Land, land tone. Dear customers, many thanks for your order. I hope you're satisfied with our products. Contact us if you're not. That's nice. Put that in here. Oops. I don't, want, I don't want to bend the card. It's a nice card. Alright. How much for that? I got it stuck in the box. Alright, so here's the wire. You know, you'd write it just as the keyboard for vocal. That's me writing. It's all stripped. It's all stripped already. All stripped, twisted, and looks like it's tin. It is. It's all stripped, twisted, and tin. I don't know, you probably still have to cut it. I imagine you have to cut it. And then in here, got the uh, capacitors, film capacitors, can capacitors, whatever they're called. You got your pots. And I don't like the way the IC chip is just laying in there. It should, you know, lights could get all bent and stuff, but I reckon. It is what it is. It'll either be fine or it won't. There's your IC chip sockets. Yeah, see that's weird how the how the uh, the IC chips are just laying in there like that. But I reckon they'll be fine. Seems like it's packed very carefully. More capacitors. These are like little mini pots. They're very small. This is going to be quite a project for me. There's a lot of. It's quite a circuit. Actually, actually, it's laid out very well. If you can see that. Everything's listed and labeled on there. I don't know if you can see that. 
it's all numbered and everything. <clears throat> and then it's direction sheet, I guess this is directions. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't see a batter's, oh there is a batter's map. Oh, it comes with, oh that's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. Some of them are so soft that you even take it off the battery, they get broke. But I might, I might substitute. I have a heavy, a heavy duty one. If it can get the fit, in the, if I can get the fit in the case. Uh, yeah, it tells you which, which K each pot is for your. You repeat your volume, your delay. Very specific. Tells you to lay down certain capacitors. There's a man who put a YouTube video up of this. I'll, I'll check it out. He tells you to be very careful of certain components that they're in the right direction and stuff. And Where's it, is there transistors in here? I don't know if that's a transistor. It looks like it. George Martin was very interesting. He'd been in the Fleet Arrow, which was the Navy Air Force. We said, Would you fly the plane? He said, No. Did you navigate? No. Were you the tail gunner? No. Hmm. It turned out he was a producer. Oh, kind of. Yeah. He was putting this together. And then he talked to him about it. Nice light bulb. It looks like there's a light bulb so there. Yeah, nice one with like a little, little metal metal plated bezel around it. And then he said, you hear that? Looks like a nice kit. And then there's a box in here. Yeah, it's like a little box. Looks like a nice kit. And then there's a box in here. It's all pre drilled. And then there's a box in here. It's all pre drilled. Lightweight. Lightweight. Yeah, the man said in the video, he said it was a very tight fit in his box. But, uh, it'll be a challenge. It'll be a challenge to fit it in this little box, but I think I'm up to it. Give it a try. All right, I'm going to put it away for now. I'm gonna put it in the box very gingerly because I don't want to bend the, the legs on the chips or anything. But uh, they definitely, they definitely had it packed down to a science in here because <laughs> it's. There's no way. So, yeah, that's, I'm just going to set it in there. I'm not going to crush it in there. So, yeah. Oh, I definitely don't want to lose this. So, there you go. That's the $27 delay pedal kit. It looks like something. Hopefully, everything I need is there. And hopefully, uh, it comes out sounding great. I hope it sounds great. It'll be exciting. I'm excited to build it. All right, that's that. Uh...